Oh, hey Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, sorry, this reading will be, I was just looking at these two cards. They just flipped out in the past position for your person. So we're going to take a look at this here. Um, down in the description box below the videos, all the links to contact me, get a reading, follow me on Instagram, what have you. So definitely check that out. Um, please do hit the subscribe button and like on the video if you enjoy this reading. Um, Virgo, this reading is just for Virgos. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so if you're a cross watcher, welcome. All right, let's take a look here. I sound like an airplane, you know, like a um, flight attendant. In the back, we have the, I don't know. <laughs> If you look up above, you'll see the screen where the pilot will announce. Okay. All right. So the past position for this person, six of swords, strength. We have the queen of swords. Present position is the five of cups, um, two of swords and the world. And the future is judgment, four of cups, the four of pentacles. Ooh. Okay. All right, Virgo, so we're going to look at the past energy here. I'm going to pull some how they feel about you cards so we can go in deeper with their emotions as well. Um, but for clarifiers, I feel like there's a past position here of um, perhaps there was travel. Your person was traveling. Um, maybe they relocated with you or you moved in together um, or you were... You took some trips together. Um, this uh, For some of you, this person helped you. Uh, drove you and your child somewhere um, or gave you guys a ride or you know they were kind of like in control of a situation it's strange hold on <laughs> I'm just getting this strange energy from this card it just kind of feels like for some of you there was this thing where you were Somebody was taking you somewhere and you, you just didn't know where you were going or where they were taking you. I don't know if it was bad. It was scary, though. It feels like it was very scary for you. You, you made some kind of change or somebody was helping you move or do something different in your life. Um, they were kind of like taking the reins of something and you were kind of like giving them the side eye like you're not are you sure are you sure you f it felt like you were letting this person lead you in a particular direction in the past but you were still kind of like wait i'm not sure i wish i could show you closer i don't know if you can see her face but she's kind of looking out the side of her eye you know like or not being too sure some of you had a pillow with you in a car you were holding on tight to a pillow I don't know that's strange energy but the six of swords is a card of like some type of necessary transition that this person was trying to make in their life um, they had also uh, some responsibility for someone I feel like maybe or something that they had to take care of or someone that they had to take care of in their life, person, place, or thing. The I they're, now they're just giving me this. This person really had a hard time making decisions or steering the ship in their own life. They needed someone else to make decisions or plans for them, or to tell them which direction to go, or what to do, or where to go, or you know that kind of thing. Okay, so it's, it can be vice versa. Just take it as it resonates, but. The strength is here, and this is courage. Um, this is like taming the beast here. I feel like this person needed you to like take control. That might have been what this was here for for many of you. That they needed you to like take the reins, steer the ship. Let me get a clarifying card for the Six of Swords. So we have Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh, well, that might be a sign. Um, we have Scorpio energy here. Um, Taurus. Okay. 
Clarify the Six of Swords. Yep, shadow side. This is uh, devil energy. Yeah, this person was struggling with some really deep, dark <sighs> shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> Addiction, greed, envy, materialism, obsession, sexual, sexual lust. This person was looking for someone to, they were looking for you to help them through it. You know, or maybe you tried to help them through something. You were the strong one in this connection. Um, and they were seeking you, you know, they were, Virgo, you were much more grounded and stable. And this person was wild when it comes to, I feel like relationships, like just that, that energy, like you gave your love to them and they know it and they felt it and, and they were needing that from you. But you also did it with that queen. I, I don't know, because I don't see cup energy here, Virgo. So I feel like you were lacking a little bit on the emotion um, or the compassion in, in like words and affection. I feel like you were steering the ship with this person like um, with like brutal honesty. Like you maybe gave them some truths in the past. You drew your sword. You know, I don't know if you were critical with them or you were just, being completely blunt and honest with them in the past okay mm, that's how they see you that's how they've they saw you in the past okay whatever you said or whatever you it's mostly what you said because the queen of swords you know she's like very strategic and she's precise and cutting she can be um with her words male or female okay very intentional with like Queen of Swords doesn't say things just for the sake of saying things. She's not trying to hurt. And I don't feel like you were trying to hurt somebody, but I feel like you were just giving some real strength in words, power words to this person. Let's take a look here at strength. But you were also loving this person unconditionally. Those were your intentions. Now, I feel like they may not have realized that. Maybe they did. Maybe they took things the wrong way. Um... I mean, you respect yourself, Virgo, and they, they saw that, how you were. You're very courageous, and they saw that in the past. Okay, Seven of Swords. This person was just... Virgo, you were working on... You were try, You were playing mother to somebody. You were, work, you were trying to help somebody who was just deceitful, or they were in the past just, um, you know, you're the sign of service, and you truly were trying to help. Um, but this person was like being dishonest or they were running away and every time they come back and they get this big roar and you were trying to like calm them down and you know relax things and just you know give them some of your strength and your support and your courage you know and you were doing a lot Virgo you did a lot with this person let's see the queen of swords like you always tried to be there for them show me this queen of swords Six of Cups, yeah, because you did love this person. Maybe you had a history. Maybe you're trying to reconcile, trying to have a reunion, trying to come together. I mean, you know, your your words, okay, they, I feel like your person, whatever it was that you said to them, I feel like they do understand that it was because um, you truly, you were, it was innocent. It was, it might've been harsh, but I feel like when they, you know, back then they were thinking of you and thinking, okay, well, this person truly does care. Like, this is friendship. But you were also, they felt like perhaps the things that you said or, or what you did, like, they felt like maybe you were treating them like a child, like they weren't capable of doing something. Um, look at how you've got the mother and the two kids there. <laughs> you know? Um, you for some of you, maybe took on that motherly role with this person. Um, it does feel like this person might have been kind of childish in a lot of ways, you know? Um, but, you know, it is what it is, right? I mean, this person was just kind of out of control. And I feel like maybe you were trying to steer them in a particular way and they were wanting you to help steer them, you know? But... Hmm. Let's take a look. Okay. 
So the present energy, this person's like, I don't know if you guys are not talking or if there's there's some kind of loss here. They have regret. You know, I heard somebody say today, um, let's see if I can remember how to word it. Um, regret is worse than what was what did she say oh I'll be darned if I can remember I'll see if I can remember in a little bit regret lasts a lifetime oh here it is rejection is temporary you you can get over rejection but regret that's that's a lifetime and this person is in a position of regret they're regretting currently not seeing the love you were trying to give or even just trying to have some kind of connection in the past with them trying to maybe re reconcile or make something work or you know be loving and, and innocent towards each other and true you know and just have all those emotions and be play have playfulness you know felt like a lot of hard work and i feel like this person is truly regretting what they put you through in the past they're currently regretting um how they treated you or how they were acting with you let me see here the five of cups okay yeah the wheel of fortune here they regret not seeing how lucky they were to have you in their life and what you did for them because they were so you know running out running around being sneaky uh, caving into their urges and addictions and all that other stuff you know that was just like that was they were putting those things in front of you yet they were needing you to help them and you were trying to help them but they weren't they just weren't able to make these changes in their life for you in the past or whatever these changes or something about children whatever it might have been something they may have seen you as someone that they could have children with or a child and yet they couldn't bring it and now they're in this position of regretting how lucky they were to have you okay that's the wheel of fortune they you were good fortune for them you know um there was a turning point and when they met you and now they're looking back and they're just kind of like regretting that they looked the gift horse in the mouth and you know something else regretting for some they were gambling um they wasted all their money there's regret about that as well or they were trying their luck elsewhere kept trying to maybe this person had like you know an addiction to gambling or you know or they came into a lot of tremendous amount of money like a lottery of some sort or coming into it here and 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 then they lose it all okay but the two of swords is sitting here this is like stalemate this person does not know what to do right now They don't want to listen to what anyone says. They don't want to see anything. There might be blocking. They might be currently blocking you or they're thinking you're blocking them. Um, that two of swords energy is, it's harsh. You know, they know they need to compromise. They know they need to make a decision and they're withdrawing right now to figure out what they want to do. Look, there's the high priestess going into silent mode. So currently this person's not communicating with you and this is why. They're living with all this regret. Maybe you told this person that they act like a child. <laughs> or maybe you told them that your two children are more mature than they are. <laughs> or maybe they think that you think that, you know, um, or however many kids you have. Or maybe you don't have any and they just, <laughs> maybe you just said, grow up you know whatever it might be so right now this person i don't know did you leave them or did you walk away they're in regret even if you're still communicating with them it doesn't matter they're still you know and they're not talking they're not communicating give me this wheel of fortune okay yeah <laughs> some of this is regret is because they were you know they're they regret that they were talking to other people males or females dating 
spreading themselves thin, not taking the relationship seriously. Maybe they had a sex addiction or addicted, like maybe they're on a dating site um, and just communicating with a lot of other people and, you know, just spreading themselves thin. Why is the high priestess here? Are they dating a lot of different people at once, seeking others who regret doing that? Okay, the moon. Okay. Oh, they're going, they are in deep because look, you've got moons all over this card here. You've got the moon here. This person is like feeling it deeply, like the vibration is vibrating. It's like heavy, very heavy energy. And that moon card, seeking clarity trying to get at the truth of how they feel about you and like what's going on with them okay um dreams things coming to them in their dreams or they're thinking about you or dream, closing their eyes and dreaming or trying to recapture the, the good in their mind it's almost like i feel it's like they close their eyes and they just watch this movie. They're seeing this movie in their dreams or it's coming to them like um, some type of visions. And it's almost like a replay of, you know, the things that they regret. It's very negative thinking. Okay, the, the moon card, um, unseen problems that they're beginning to see, you know. So the world is here, which is, this is like night and day here. This world card is here, which is some kind of like lesson learned. I feel like this person, are they moving on currently? Are making their way to, you know, leave this situation and, and start over? We'll see, but there's, there's kind of like movement here. Okay, the King of Swords. Well, whatever their sign, they're moving towards communicating with you. Okay. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. Definitely. Because the King of Swords, you know, whatever sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, it doesn't matter. This person is very strategic. They're, they're, um, oh, writing a new chapter. I feel like this person's going to write something to you, communicate something to you by way of words. Okay. This falcon here is a messenger. So there could be a text. Um, it feels written. There's something being written here currently. Okay. And going forward, well, you know what? I just give me a king of swords again. Clarify. Okay. Oh, they're going to tell you how they missed their golden opportunity with you. Um, is there sorrow here? No. But is there a message about trying again? I feel like yes. Um, this is a card about being willing to invest. That's a communication coming for, for you. In the present now in the future <laughs> judgment is here wow okay everything gets revealed this person is going to reveal everything to you virgo they're gonna hmm. they're gonna bear their soul look there's a man and a woman and a child who so could have something to do with family they're gonna bear their soul to you and it could be through a phone call as well. That horn. Some of you have that horn ring on your, like your ringtone on your phone, like a bicycle horn ring. <laughs> if that's you, this would be your message for sure. Maybe you have that attached to them. But there's um, definitely a call coming forward. And for them, even like a, it's going to be like a wake up call or they wake you, they call you in the morning, wake you up. It could be early in the morning. It could be, you know, it could be like, like one or 2 a.m. Could be 
you know, in the morning before you head off to your day or sometime in the morning. Uh, let's get a clarifying card for the judgment. Okay, Four of Cups and Four of Cups is here twice. That's the communication. This person, they're going to tell you over and over again. They want to rectify the situation. They were denying the love constantly. You kept trying to give it. Look, you're giving your love there. And they just left the cup. They drank from the cup and left it there. They were just never fulfilled. Maybe your love wasn't fulfilling enough for them in the past, Virgo. But did they try to do anything to talk to you or communicate with you what it was that they needed from you? Perhaps not. And Virgo, I feel like you were just giving the best that you could with what you had, you know? And um, I feel like there's going to be a communication coming from them telling you that they um, rejected your love and they didn't mean to reject your love. Um, they were very blocked. Okay? This person definitely is seeking long-term security with you. For sure, they don't want to let you go, and they're not going to let you go going forward. Um, but there's a revelation happening here for them. It could be that um, they may tell you that they feel like you're not interested or you don't want them anymore. Are you both rejecting one another at the same time? Is it like failure to launch? What's the missing element here? And, of course, the Emperor is back again. He shows up in every one of my readings. Can we laugh at this point? Please go over to my community tab and leave me comments about this Emperor card because I know if you're watching every single one of my videos, you're seeing him here. He is always in the reading. It'll be a big deal if he's not. Okay. I feel like they're going to communicate and tell you that they didn't feel like you were loving, that you were loving enough towards them. And they're going to tell you, you two are mirroring each other. And they're going to tell you that they weren't being loving enough towards you. That, and when I was asking the missing element, that's what it is, the missing element. There was a lack of emotional connection. And you were both perhaps repelling each other because you were both avoidant or fearful of rejection, or both fearful of abandonment, okay? But look, this person never wants to let you go. They never wanted to, and they don't want to let you go, Virgo. They're still holding on tight to the idea of you. Is our heart still a little bit blocked? Yeah. Let's see. It's a very difficult, perplexing relationship. Here's strength again, Leo energy. Okay, we have Aries here, we have Pisces, we have Virgo. This person with all their might and all their courage and all their strength is not going to give you up. They're not going to let you go. They see that there's something here. The strength card is about unconditional love. They feel it's there between the two of you. This right here is Beauty and the Beast. That's what your relationship is. Beauty and the Beast. Go watch Beauty and the Beast from Disney. That's your, that's your relationship. Your person, you are so beautiful as a person, Virgo, and your person was like the Beast. Did not feel like he, he, anyone could ever love him. He was turned into this Beast. Go watch it because that's probably how your person treated you, Virgo. That's you right here. Some of you are on the cusp of Leo, Virgo. But that's you right there. And there's your person. Do you remember Belle? How she was? That was you. And yeah, I just heard. Go watch Beauty and the Beast. All right, wait, let me get one more card. Yeah, they probably always left you out in the cold, and then in turn, you left them out in the cold, and there was just this coldness between you. And I feel like this person does not want to be out in the cold anymore. They want to be with you, but something, the love thing, compassion, was missing. One of you had to be the bigger person. One of you had to be stronger and keep loving, you know, even in, these, in this difficult connection, and to be accepting. Or, uh, accepting of um, the beast. 
Okay, let's get into, I want to see the love messages here, how this person feels about you, Virgo, what their deep feelings are. I wish I could share my good news with you. Okay, this person's come upon some good news currently. I wonder if you are happy without me. They do worry about that, and they think about you. Like I said, if you've left them and you're gone, they that's an insecure thing, you know? That's kind of like, they don't want, it's like they want you to be happy, but they don't want you to be happy without them. You know what I mean? But they do want you to be happy. I'm so attracted to you. Okay, well, Beauty and the Beast. I mean, what do you, so many things remind me of you. This person is afraid to contact you, but they're gonna do it anyway. They're going to get over their fears. I lost myself for a little while. This person, if you haven't been in communication with them, it's because they've just, they got lost. They went and got lost. Like your Prince Charming has been up in a tree somewhere, trapped in a tree. You haven't been able to find him. Where the heck is he or she? And they've just, they went and got lost. They've been lost. <laughs> for some of you, this person, when you met them, they already were lost. And you maybe tried to help them, but they love you, Virgo. They do. The love is there. They may have told you that. This person left before you could leave them. And that's because of um, self-protection mode and fear of rejection. Remember I was saying anxiety, avoidant anxiety, anxious avoidant, um, abandonment issues, things like that with them and probably with you as well. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, so if you found like this person wasn't communicating with you or if they were telling you that they were busy working or everything was work, 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 um, it's because they were trying not to get emotional about their, their, their regret. They, they, have, they have regret. Again, it's not rejection. They will wait from a sign from, from you, Virgo. I don't know if you're going to try and give them a sign or reach out and say something to them. Um, they're waiting for to hear from you, though. I felt like a call, remember? Either they're going to call you or waiting or... Oh, because I feel like they're going to write you something and then they're going to wait for a sign, a response from you. I know that I crossed the line with you. Okay, they, they know whatever they might have done or um, said. Um, was completely out of line. It was not appropriate for the relationship and they know it and they regret that. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Yeah, I do feel like they seek your forgiveness. And they hope, they want to tell you how they feel. Mm -hmm. So Virgo, if this person reaches out um, to try to connect with you, um, will you give them the opportunity to speak? or uh, to let them express their emotions. You might, you might not, I don't know, but I feel like this person wants to tell you how they feel. All right, let me, let's get a couple of angel wisdom messages here for you. Please do hit the like and subscribe button on my channel. Help me build the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, you've got, the page of fire. Enthusiast. So there's communication coming in for sure. Enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions and finish what you start. All right, Virgo, what does that mean for you? There was something here started with this person. Maybe there isn't closure. You may need to close it in response to have a new chapter with them or to just move on. But I feel like there's some type of like, something, there's some kind of new experience coming here. I feel like this person is very, 
they feel impatient to talk to you they want to talk to you and they do want to share news of exciting opportunities here i wish i could share my good news with you that's their hope they have something some good news positive news not anything that's going to hurt you or break your heart this is good news they want to share with you Oh, three of pentacles. Wow, that's a marriage card. Do what you love. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and an excellent reputation. And this is part of this news, too, is that I feel like this person wants to chip away at everything that was weighing you both down. And they want to try to carve out the masterpiece of this relationship, even if that means going to get help for whatever addictions or struggles or issues that they've had or sneaking around or just running away from being true to you and being honest and open one more card please okay oh ace of earth a windfall of abundance wise counsel this person may be going to counseling maybe you are a good fortune an exciting career opportunity a lucrative contract significant purchase like a home or a vehicle for some of you this person may be buying a new home and that could be some of the news or they're building a home that could be the news that they give to you oh gosh i'm hearing the notebook i am the notebook remember when noah was building that house and he was building it for Allie and himself and but she they they were apart no matter how depressed he was and then he was with another woman and he truly didn't love her it was Allie that he loved and it's like that story and then she comes back and like you know he built that house for her that was his dream but for her to be in it I know I'm getting very emotional here but I just love that movie so I feel like Either you need to go watch Beauty and the Beast to understand your relationship with this person if you're clueless about what the heck happened, or you need to go watch The Notebook. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of like, I, I'm a romantic. I'm, the, I'm one of those romantic Virgos. I think a lot of us Virgos are romantic deep down, but maybe we just don't always express that. But <laughs> through movies and music and art, I'm all over it. So I just feel like, if you've seen those movies, go watch it again to get some ice cream, get some snacks, take your weekend and just get into some romance movies. I mean, unless you're completely done with this person, you want to move on, then, you know. But I believe, and let me just say this, there's a lot of readers and there's a lot of people out there who they want to give messages of like how to be single how to be strong, how to be independent. And while I think those things are great, I believe that you can be that way with, with your, your lover. And I believe that relationships can be healed. Um, love is the greatest healer of all, right? And I don't really believe the no contact thing um, or the disappearing thing. I mean, I think that's only good if you're dealing with like an extreme sociopath then yeah, you got to get away. But I just feel like they these they make a lot of money off this stuff. I mean, if you are if you've been in a relationship with like some kind of sociopath or like someone who is physically, mentally, emotionally abusive like to the core where there's even a diagnosis, then this is not your reading, okay? And I would I I say move on and, you know, attract the right kind of healthy relationship to you, but if that's not, and you just got someone who was having, you know, dealing with addictions or being selfish or things like that, and but you know in your heart that this person, like there was something there and, and, you, and you've seen signs of it, I believe it can be healed, but you have to want to heal it. It's, it's not, they have to do everything, right? It's t it takes effort on both sides, right? And you can't expect someone to give you what you're not able to give them. If you're not able to express your emotions and your love and your feelings towards someone, how can you expect them to do that in return? Like you both kind of have to meet there, you know? I love you and that's called reciprocity and sharing and growing and building and creating something together, right? So that's my little take on that and my analytical Virgo mind has just spoken on love. Take it, 
resonates. If not, you can skip on to the, tomorrow's video. All right, Virgo, that was your reading. Thank you. I wish you all the best. I hope that was helpful in some way, and I'll speak to you all later. God bless. Love you.